Dark matter and dark energy are two of the most elusive particles in the universe. Both are invisible, and their true nature remains unclear as they continue to evade detection. But now, scientists at CERN, Europe's Organization for Nuclear Research, and the architects of the Large Hadron Collider in France, want to build a brand new underground facility that will take us closer to the first detection than ever before. Supercolliders accelerate the fundamental particles of nature to near light speed velocities, smashing them together to observe their interactions and byproducts, so that we can infer information about the most basic fundamental processes playing out in the quantum domain. And in 2012, CERN scientists returned on the $4 billion investment that was poured into the construction of the 20-mile-wide Large Hadron Collider when they isolated the so-called God Particle, also known as the Higgs boson, for the first time. The Higgs boson gives the universe's particles their mass and properties, and its discovery represented a paradigm-shifting piece of the puzzle in refining our established standard model of particle physics. And following this resounding success, many predicted that it was only a matter of time until the LHC was able to pinpoint particles of dark matter. Unfortunately, more than a decade has passed, and we've still been unable to pin down the heavy dark matter particles that build up the backbone of our galaxy. But scientists at CERN are undeterred, and have drawn up plans for a supercollider three times the size of its predecessor, known as the Future Circular Collider. This new supercollider will be buried underground even deeper than the LHC, and the solace it receives from the shielding of Earth's crust may help it carve out the ideal conditions for isolating the dark matter particle, and perhaps even the dark energy particle thereafter. However, this will be an extensive project which won't get underway until the mid-2040s, and will cost upwards of $15 billion just for its initial development phase. And given the so far unsuccessful efforts to find dark matter and dark energy, critics are raising concerns about the costs of sustaining this long-term project and what is essentially chasing a theory that isn't 100% guaranteed to exist. Nonetheless, these colliders can be used to teach us about all sorts of physics outside the world of dark particles, and so even if this super collider isn't able to shine light on the long elusive substances, it should still be able to make major contributions to the field of particle physics. Thanks for watching the Space Shack. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to help our channel grow.